Hey everybody, Zane here at a new setup down in Los Angeles. I finally made it back. Now, we have a big one. We have the Critics' Choice Awards, the Golden Globes, and the Delayed Emmy predictions that I'm going to share. So, as I go forward with the Emmy predictions, is I'm going to show my picks, which will be right here, where my cursor is, that's also like, well, on the left side of that is the odds and all that. While the far left, not political or anything like that, these are going to be the editor picks and at times the expert picks. So that's how it's going to work then. And so without further ado, let's proceed. And as displayed right now, we are at the Variety Special Live, <clears throat> which um, unfortunately I'm very limited on that stuff. But I, but so I mainly take for it, take my everybody's word for it. And apparently, we both the experts and editors, most of them go are going with Elton John live at the fair farewell from Dodger Stadium with the Tony Awards as the runner-up. So, I'll go along with that one. So, yeah. Elton John. Plus, I'm a, plus, I'm a Elton John fan for sure. Now, we are on to the, the scripted series. Uh, Friday's uh, scripted series. And so, everybody is, was always picking John Oliver. He's at the top of all of them. And you know I don't really watch him that much except for some clips of here and then. I'll I'll say, I agree with this, so I'll go with last so to speak, I'll go with it. So John Oliver for the win. Now, the variety talks talk series or show hosts or whatever you want to say. <clears throat> you got late night late the late show with Stephen Colbert, and then you got John Stewart, Seth Myers, Trevor Noah, can Jimmy Come Alive? Okay. I mean, well, I guess I'm more objective on this one because I'm more, more of a Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon person. But I'll go. But I'll still, but I know the other guys are also really great too. So, and everybody seems to like like them. And so I'll go with Colbert there for the win. Competition program. And seems like the top. The top front runners are uh, Raw pa yeah. Pals Drag Race um, and The Amazing Race. Yeah, makes sense. I'll go with Drag the RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Now we are on to li a limited series or TV movie writing, and looks like and Beef is kind of on the top. Uh, is the sh is the front runner on at least with the editors? Let's check with the ed with the experts. Beef as well, and it's also a really good mini series. So, I even pit I even selected Beef as for best writing. So I go with Beef, and I have Weird and Prey kind of like as the runner ups. Now for a limited series or TV movie directing, and this one's like a tough one. one <coughs> yeah. Yeah, because it could go, because it varies, because you got, for Monster, the episode Silenced, it was probably like the best directed episode of that miniseries, then you also have B, you, like, particularly the last two episodes, which are really well directed, so, it's a very tough call, well, and with the experts, they kind of go with, they're going with B, it just goes back and forth between the feathers of light or the great fabricator. Then there's let me go back. Then there's some that are still with and it's silenced. <clears throat> and let's see what the editors say. Uh, think they go figures of light, silenced. So it's a tough call. Honestly, I'll be fine with whichever wins. But in this case, I'll just go with um. I'll stick with silenced. But Figures of Light is my runner-up. Yeah, that's what I'll say. Now we're at a 
TV movie or lim and limited series supporting actor. This one, to me, is kind of like a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. I'm going with Paul Walter Hosler. Therefore, Blackbird. Yeah, I mean, he won the Golden Globe and mm -hmm. almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. And honestly, yeah, he knocked it out of the park and he deserves to win. So I'm sticking with Paul. Now for supporting actress in a limited series or a TV movie. Me? Yeah, most of them say Nisi, Nash, Nash, Betts, Beats. And I agree. I'm going with Nisi. Mm. Then I have, uh, and I personally selected Maria Bello as my runner up. So, that's my, so that's my pick. Okay, we have a uh, limited in series and or TV movie for lead actor. I picked Evan Peters for Jeff, for monster Jeffrey Dahmer because, well, he was terrifying in that, that miniseries and was spectacular, or, you know, in that way. Okay. With, but I also have Steve Yoon for Beef as the runner-up. Um, and I'd be fine if, if Steve wins, wins over Evan if that's the case. So, mm -hmm. Depends. It's perfectly, perfectly acceptable. And the editors and the um, um, experts probably also agree because they're pretty divided, divided with who might win because it's very close call between the both of them. So, yeah. So, but for me, I'll pick Evan, but obviously Steve is the runner-up. And for a limited series or TV movie acting, I mean, sorry, actress, this, I go with Ali Wong. Wong. Ali Wong. Um, and even though I didn't see the, that miniseries yet, George and Tammy, so I haven't seen that yet, but Jessica Chastain, I'll say, is my runner-up because everybody else is kind of, most of them are picking her as the runner-up. So, yeah. I'd say that's fair. Yeah, and so, yeah, Ali or Jessica. Okay. Now for best limited series. Honestly, this one's a little bit more straightforward. Um, I'm voting for Beef for the win on this one. Yeah, and not and of course the editors and expert experts also pick Beef. You know, I mean, fair enough. But I personally pick Beef. So yeah, perfectly acceptable. All right. Moving on, now for drama series in writing. This is going to... Yeah, I'm picking, and from the looks of it, the majority of editors and experts are also picking Succession, Episode 3, Connor's Wedding. Yeah, Connor's Wedding. Now for drama series directing. Also, Connor's Wedding. Um, yeah, then... I also kind of looked this out for the last category, but the, for The Last of Us, I said the long, long time. I said is the is my runner up. So best supporting actor in drama series. You can probably tell. Um, well, Succession, Matthew McFadlin. Then I also have um, <laughs> the uh, all the other Succession guys as the runner ups. <laughs> yeah. Being fair, it, and they all, and yeah, so Matthew deserves it for sure. Or, and the other ones are, are really good runner ups. Supporting actress, let, let it load. This one, it's basically a kind of a close fight between Jennifer Coolidge and, um, let's see, and Rita Seahorn. And then, and, and there's also Jay Smith Cameron as well. I'm picking Jennifer Coolidge for the White Lotus because I think her performance was part of the best was one of the best parts of that the most recent season. So and and yeah, and she was fantastic. And then I put Rita as my uh, runner up. Yeah, so sorry, Rhea. I don't know why I said that. Now for drama actor, I'm going with Karen Culkin in as as the winner, predicted winner. And Jeremy Strong is the runner-up, and obviously then Pedro, and then Bob, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. And for the most part, yeah, looks like the editors and experts kind of are, I uh, kind of agree. And besides, it's the last season, so, and he, 
And yeah, he just like evolved into that role so much. So yeah. Drama series actress. Sarah Snook for Succession. Yeah. Clearly. Mm -hmm. No brainer. Then, but yeah, runner up, Bella Ramsey, Last of Us. Yeah, that's what I picked. Okay. Now, drama series. <laughs> Do I even have to physically say it? <laughs> yeah. But in case some people are not actually looking at the video, they're just listening. Succession for the win. No brainer. But, but I gave, but being fair, I gave the runner up slot to The Last of Us. You're welcome. Alright, for comedy writing, I picked The Bear System. Um, so the first, very first episode. Oh, and then, yeah. And you got to then, yeah, so, um, everybody else is a little divided on what the runner-ups are, but I kind of picked Only Murders in the Building Season 2 finale only for the runner-up, then Barry, then Ted Lasso. They're all good, just in different ways, but the bear the sis, for System is my pick to win. Now for comedy directing. Well, this one... The Bear review, especially for that chaotic long take and all, and just the big chaos in that scene is just like you can really feel it. And it looks like a lot of the experts and editors kind of agree. Well, mostly anyway, but that's that's fair. Then I put Barry for a while as my runner-up, then the runner-up after that Wednesday, uh, the first episode for so Tim Burton. Yeah. So, yeah, the bear. Review. There we go. Comedy Supporting Actor. Uh, I think in the comedy categories, this is going to be a lot more trickier to pick, or for the most part. Because, like, they're all good and different and funny and, and serious and different types of characters. So it's a bear. Yeah. But for this one, I kind of took a, a, took a big leap and said... Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name. Edbron Moss Bardrach. That's for the bear. Yeah. Then Brent Goldstein for Ted Lasso is the, my runner-up pick. Then Terry, and sorry. Then Tyler James Williams, Abbott Elementary, as the third runner-up. Or Ty runner-ups, whatever you want to say. Oh yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. They're all, even the editors and, even the editors and experts are divided on it, so... We'll see. Supporting actress in a comedy series. What the experts and the editors are also kind of divided on this one. I was, and I'll admit, I was kind of divided on it, divided about it for a little bit, or more not not in terms of like, um, not in terms of like confusion, just more questionable and just more who should win, and and because they all have so much range. But I will be, I kind of go for Io Edgerbry Edger for the bear. There, or, sorry if I'm butchering her name, name but, but yeah, I vote for her. Then Shirley Lee Ralph for Abbott Elementary is my runner-up. Then Hannah Wal Waldingham or is my third runner-up. Well, her and Juno Temple, I'll, I'll technically say they're tied. tied. Best actor in a comedy series. I vote Jeremy Allen White for the bear. Bear? Yeah. That's what I vote for. But with Jason Sudeikis as my run-up pick. So, I'll be happy with either, with either one of them. So, yeah. Okay. For a comedy... Mm, best comedy actress. Oof. I know, this is a tough one. Um, or, at least according to the editors and... Editors and experts. But... I think this one I said... <clears throat> This one I decided Quintana Brunson for Abbott Elementary, but I but I went up on a limb here and picked Jenna Ortega for Wednesday as my runner-up pick. Yeah, all right, very last one, best comedy series. I decided Ted Lasso season three should be 
he the winner for like its final season and just a, a solid fa- and a nice farewell to, to the show you know, after all these seasons. But sometimes there might be a curve, so I also so I picked the bear as my runner-up pick. Yeah, yeah, bear. Then Ab is my is the next runner-up. Yeah. So that concludes my Emmy picks, and we shall find out out in the second week of January. So can't wait to see who wins and who I know officially will win, and see and just cheer them on. It's going to be awesome. All right. Cool. See you guys next time.